What is up guys, and we have a different type of video today. Now, typically I don't do videos like this, but I just kind of want to discuss it because I've seen a lot of point of views and I just want to get my view out there. You know, this is a different type of video. We'll have more uh, PvP videos coming out sooner or later, so if you don't want to watch this, just go ahead and click off. But for those of you who do, um, I just want to uh, give some speculation on the new weather. Um, so for those of you who don't know, the Valentine's event is actually ending tomorrow. And because of that, we will be getting a new weather update and potentially with the new weather update, a new Lumion. Um, because we have Hydrini and Hydrini is currently the one that gets weather boosted by rain. And hopefully we'll be getting more weathers like hail, you know, all of those. Um, however, I wanted to uh, give my point of view on what I feel is coming and um, some speculation from my community as well. And if you don't know how to join my com community, um, you can just subscribe and stay on YouTube or if you have Discord, um, Discord link in the description and you can join. Um, but let's get right into it. So my theory with this, now my theory is that um, a lot of people are predicting, oh, you know, maybe we'll get hail or sandstorm or something, you know, like that. But I'm thinking we're going to get harsh sunlight because uh, of a couple of reasons, but one of the being is that we already have sunlight and I don't really feel like people would predict harsh sunlight and harsh sunlight is also the opposite to rain. So it would make sense that we got rain before and now we'll get harsh sunlight. And I think... Basically, another thing is not only would Harsh Sunlight be an update to the um, game, like almost as if like to the game itself, like a new game mechanic, but it's going to change PvP because photosynthesis actually relies on um, the sunlight because depending on how strong the sun is, aka if we have Harsh Sunlight up, it will actually heal you more, which means that maybe in future weathers it will heal us less if it's not Harsh Sunlight, and then that will actually change the PvP meta. And another thing is, is we got Hydrini, meaning we might actually be able to get a new Lumion with an ability, you know, that can trigger Harsh Sunlight. Obviously, Hydrini had Vivid Sight, Shakedown, and it it's hidden an ability being Aqua Body. Aqua Body, for those of you who don't know, it means you take three fourths damage from uh, it. You take three fourths damage from fire moves. I'll actually go ahead and uh, show off a Hydrini right now. This is what Hydrini looks like. You know, it's this little water thing, and that's why for the thumbnail we actually have a red version of it because. I think it's going to be like cast form. You know, I personally wouldn't mind. Like, maybe the ears change a bit, but then that will mean we'll be introducing more bug types. Now, we don't need any more bug types, but we don't have a fire bug at the moment, and I think that would be really cool to get one. Um, that would open up uh, a couple more ways into PvP. Um, however, let's go ahead and uh, talk about other things before I dive into, you know, the fire bug idea. Uh Another thing that my community actually said, shout out to, there were multiple people who were involved and in, who was involved with this theory, but I'm going to go ahead and point out Aaron specifically because he was the one who gave me the idea and he was the one I remember. I know Spectacle also talked about it and I believe Lep also said something about it. Um, but what if we had like a toxic gas that could boost bug type moves, you know, like maybe and then we could get a poison bug. Now we already have a poison, we already have two poison bugs actually, but it would still be interesting and what i mean by this toxic gas is there's actually a move ferroblast and most of you have probably heard of ferroblast if you've watched my deludrix video now for those of you who don't ferroblast is a bug type move that can either heal you or uh that can either heal you or do damage depending on what who you use it on um in doubles if you use it on your ally it's going to heal you and it's specifically mentioned that it has harsh chemicals that can be used to help an ally or it can be used to harm the target so that would be cool there was a whole idea with this harsh chemicals idea that maybe we get a new weather a toxic weather and i would actually be totally for that maybe this weather does damage um to everybody on the field um, except for poison types, and that would be really cool because that would also be like Dyborg's paint shower. Now, Dyborg, I don't think I actually have one at the moment, but Dyborg comes from this Lumion called Terity, and Dyborg gets a signature move called paint shower. Sorry if you hear my dog whining in the background. Paint shower actually means that it does damage to anything that's not a toxic type for a couple of turns. I don't actually know if you can get rid of it with toxic types. I don't believe you can. It's a very unused move. Not many people use it. 
Um, but that is a nice move to note that, you know, maybe it gets boosted by this toxic weather. Maybe toxic damage does more in this weather. You know, I think it would be really, really, really cool to have this type of weather. And then, of course, there's the basic ones. Um, there's hail, potentially. You know, it's possible. We don't have a lot of ice types in the game, so I don't really see that one uh, coming in. But at the moment, Ice Eagle doesn't have a hidden ability. And I know people will say, oh, it's not getting a hidden ability, but, or not hidden ability, secret ability, but it might actually. Maybe they were just waiting, you know, to give it like an ice ability. Um, you know, where it can trigger hail, which I think would be very reasonable. Um, but yeah, so that's a, that's a couple of ideas. Sandstorm, I'm not really leaning towards Sandstorm. I think we'll actually be getting something else in replace of Sandstorm because Sandstorm actually benefited rock and earth before um, in Pokemon. But in this game, we just have earth. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not really seeing Sandstorm. But yeah, back to the Firebug concept. I think it would be really cool, you know, if maybe we got, we got a Firebug that's maybe just like a Red Hydrini with an alternate evolution line. And then maybe its middle evolution would be more offensive, like Bez, Bez Bezudel, my bad. Um, it's more, like, tanky, and in fact, I made a video on it, go check it out, um, where I said it's possibly the best tank in the game, and I still think it is. Um, but... Yeah, just based off of that, um, there's some speculation to put out there, and I will see you guys next time.